lot of white socks with dress shoes in this bitch. God, I hate funerals. Yeah, they're stupid. Thank God I'm not going to die. What do you mean? Of course you are. I'm not gonna die, Brian. I'm like Jim Belushi. I am worried about my funny brother, though. Stewie, could you please stop tossing and turning? It's hard enough to sleep in here without my memory foam pillow. I can't go to sleep, Brian. I'm scared. Of what? Of death! Really? Like what? Tell me. Are any of them blindly reassuring? Look, it's late. We'll talk about it first thing tomorrow. Jeez, you know, I gotta say it's weird to see you so worked up about this. Our first stop today is a Jewish synagogue. So that side of the building was donated by someone named Get Out of Our Town? But, but we're here to talk about Judaism. So where do they think they go when they die? Where do Jewish people think they go when they die? Where do you think we go? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Do you think that's part of God's infinite plan? I think your whole religion is a sham just so you can get extra holidays off from work. I say, this is quite impressive. Buddhism is an Asian religion that also has a significant following of annoying white people. Okay, okay, that's good. I already know what noises to make if I'm one of those. Motions either way, so they're the worst people to buy birthday gifts for. So I bought you a new Lexus, and I got you this tie clip. Thank you both. Now, the Catholics believe that as long as you accept Jesus before you die, anyone can get into heaven. Really? I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Hey, what are you still doing awake? Changing the oil in my car. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Yeah, sure. Just let me go check my room full of gold and jewels. You see, every first thing he says is not the real thing. Nothing. Lights out. That's it. Well, that's not comforting at all. I'm from nothing, and we're going to become nothing. The end. Night, Stewie. Lights out. Did you hear him, Rupert? Life is just a big joke. It's just sitting around waiting to die. But first, I'm gonna play ball in the house. <gasps> Parents are right! Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. Okay, death by cop. Hey, copper, come get me! I definitely don't want to die today. I have so much to live for. What are you waiting for? I'm wide open. Don't you hate how the heart is right about here? All right, Rupert. The old toaster in the tub never fails. <laughs> He's getting all the glory. John Q. Taxpayer is left to clean up the crumbs. Breakfast bread just got perfectly browned. I just wish I could thank him. What the hell? Stewie, what the hell are you doing? I'm killing myself, Brian. You said it yourself. When we die, there's nothing. We just rot in the ground. Well, if life has no purpose, why not just cut to the chase? Nobody knows what comes next, so all we can do is pack the most we can into each day we've got. So what you're saying is, I've got to find my shaky leg poop. Exactly. Well, I, I have always wanted to be a singer-songwriter. No reason. You did it again. I swear to God, I will throw myself right out that window. Are my six assistants. You know, I changed my mind. Kill yourself. Hey, guys, can I share something with you? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Well, you know how I don't ever brag about my sexual exploits. That would be an accurate statement, yes. What? Huh? You serious? Check it out. What the hell is that? It's a child's foot, Joe. A few months back, I got really drunk and was playing around with an elastic band. I, I mean, it still works the same. Oh, yeah, sure. Still a foot, I guess. Oh, hey, Cleveland. Hi. Wait, don't you have a show to do? Oh, that's right. Oh, my God. Where do I even begin? You know, it's not a good sign that this is the first time a lot of people are realizing you had a show. We did about the same as Bob's Burgers. That's your bar? Oh, shame on you. The talking bear was so bad, Seth MacFarlane quit voicing him after season two. What was supposed to be the show's audience? Who did you make it for? Like some black guy who's never met another black guy? Anything else? I... I don't have a DVD player. It'll be nice having Cleveland back across the street. Why? I think a lot of times you only say things because they make you sound good. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad to see Peter and Cleveland back together again. Yeah, me too. Now Peter will have something to do besides flushing the toilet to Foghat's slow ride. Peter, you're wasting tons of water! It's not a waste, and we need a faster toilet! Home sweet, huh? What the hell happened? Well, a lot of people rented your house. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, Chevy Chase, and Dan Aykroyd. For a while, it was an orphanage where the children sang desolate songs. I really appreciate y'all helping me fix up my house. Cleveland, where should I hang the mirror? Right about here? Maybe a little higher. Oh, like, uh, up here? I think maybe higher. This place is shaping up real nice. Hey, Cleveland, what's that? 
Oh, this is my bead door. It looks stupid. Why don't you walk through it? Turns out this old house is lacking in storage space, so I gotta make some tough decisions. I ain't no lawyer. I use whatever for my purposes. Could be a box spring, could be an old radio. Like this old computer monitor? Nah, that's a sitting chair. What for children? How about this telephone cord? I'm gonna go ahead and ditch these promotional McDonald's cups from the 80s. No, that's all we drank from. How do you live in a house with all this junk? Rather stay in a house with small kids. That was the moment I stopped being Dwayne Johnson and started being The Rock. Together, you and I make one biracial wrestler. Golden chair! Ow! That was my great-grandma's vase. On the drive up from Virginia, she kept that vase between her legs. What are you doing? Making sure you learn your lesson. Ow, it hurt! I can't believe Japanese men pay good money for this! We now return to The Gay Bachelor. Mom, Mrs. Brown spanked me! What? I was playing with Rollo, and I broke a vase, and then she gave me a spanking! Look at the size of that handprint. It's like Dr. J. Whoa! Can I get some white bread on that judgmental sandwich? Brian, why are you bringing race into this? That's why whenever I walk into lids, every guy fist bumps me. Oh, you're full of crap, Brian. I'm just saying, Lois, some of us go through life without seeing color. Hey, remember when you swallowed that ribeye bone and you couldn't poop it out? And then you pushed real hard and the poo came through the ribeye hole? Find a way to channel your anger. Oh! Hello? I, I just, just so you know, this is sort of Lois's thing. I, I'm not really upset about it, so go ahead, dear. It always smells like the same meal over here. And maybe I wouldn't have to discipline your child if you did it yourself. I don't spank, and my children are very well behaved. Oh, yeah? Your baby's on the roof right now. Right now, Stewie, or you're in timeout. How many gray pubes you plucked today, you old bag? I'm a terrible parent. You're a child abuser. Families haven't anything to do with each other. That includes you, Peter. I don't want you ever talking to Cleveland again. And Cleveland, I forbid you from ever talking to Peter again. Hey, Lois, look, I'm smoking. You can't control dick. I'm a roof baby now. <sighs> this hunting trip is long overdue. Yeah, I mean, it's just too bad that all the animals are so spread out, you know? Well, maybe I can stir up some quail or pheasant with my patented bird calls. Birds, quail, pheasant! Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Yeah, see Quagmire? Safety's on. Now this is a gun without a safety. Oh Peter, you son of a bitch, you shot me! No, the dumbest thing I ever did was open that can of whoop ass. <laughs> Lois, why did you buy this? It was on sale. Hey, Quagmire, what's with the cast? Did you hurt your arm after I shot you in the arm? The shooting was the injury, Peter. Look, I already said I was sorry like a hundred times. Okay, at least you've been using it. But I want it back, Peter. This is it. Oh, ah. Uh... Damn it, Peter. Just give it back. I can't give it back. I lost it in a poker game. What? What? what you're, you're saying I'm being the unreasonable one? Jeez, calm down, you guys. No, no, Joe, Joe, Joe. It's time somebody said this to him. Peter, come on. Walk over here. Damn it, Peter. That's it. I am done. I'm done with you. I'm done with all your crap. I never want to speak to you again. This friendship is over. We now return to Saving Private Ryan, brought to you without commercial interruption by Mazda. Hey, Jerome, can you clear out my booth? Looks like somebody left their trash here. What about Mr. Demerson? Is he single? I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Oh, oh hey, look, cake. Hey, Joe, hey, Joe, I'm over here. Joe, Joe, come sit with me. Come on, you guys. Joe, I got a deck of cards you can put in your wheels to look cool. Joe, I'll do the wavy stomach for you. Joe! 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 You made me dribble on my Bruno Maglis turning to see who's calling my name. Quagmire, I've called you here today because this has got to stop. Eight phone calls, the attack ads. Good friend. But would a good friend... I'm Peter Griffin, and I broke into a news station to make this. Hey, who's that guy? Well, look, you guys have given me no alternative. I have to choose one of you. So I choose Quagmire. What? Suck it! Pretty dark days, and he's been a wonderful godfather to Susie. Well, I love Susie more. Give me a Susie. Uncle Pete is going to give you a raspberry. Well, looks like it's just you and me, Shadow. The Molly Pirates. I am the captain now. Mr. Devlin, to admit that after 30 years, 
He still loves Mrs. Devlin very much. Now, who is Mr. Devlin? Try skinny dipping with her like when you were kids. Okay, I'll be in the garage. Peter, put that knife down. Lois, I don't have any friends, so I'm gonna kill myself and get a full page in the yearbook. Then they can't ignore me. All right, Quagmire, I have given this a lot of thought. I need you to shoot me in the arm so we can be friends again. Not let, leaving let you without being what shot! I was trying to do the decent thing! I put that bullet in your arm, Peter! Movie. Ah, son of a bitch! Shot him! I'm the one who has to shoot him! Wait, right, wait a second, alright, then I get to shoot Joe! Alright, he shot me! I mean, if we're doing things fair here, then... Alright, we're good. Peter, I'm so glad you patched things up with your friends. Have I told you that we're all friends again? Yes.